Hey everybody, Punisher88 here, coming to you live once again with another weekend review. So for today's review, I'm going with something from IDW Publishing, and uh, it's from 2013, so it's not exactly an old book, but it's a special issue. That's why I'm reviewing it. Uh, and when I say special, I don't mean it's like a special to my heart kind of deal. I mean it's a special issue. It's to commemorate a anniversary of a specific TV show. And um, I picked it up because every now and then I like to get a special issue for my collection. I find they look nice and everything. Mind you, it does have a bit of a steep price tag, but I'll get into that at the end. But, um, yeah. So anyway, the uh, issue I'm talking about is the 2013 special 50th anniversary of Doctor Who. Uh, this is the special one-shot that came out. And um, I picked it up because it looked cool and everything. And I figured, well, I've had it this long. And uh, I didn't do any Doctor Who stuff. Or I haven't done any Doctor Who stuff. And I know there's a lot of Doctor Who fans out there. So I figured I'd do this review for you guys. And to the usual fans as well. So, now that you know what you're getting for a review, how about you come along with me in the TARDIS and we blast back in time. But first... How about a little time travel music, shall we? Hey everybody, welcome back. So as I mentioned in my intro, today we're covering the 2013 uh, Doctor Who special. Uh, basically, it was to uh, commemorate the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who, and um, I figured, let's get into it. But first, I need a sip of water. Do you like that mug? Pretty cool, huh? Bats and Robin fighting Penguin. Yeah, I know. Uh, pretty much, I'm showing this off. For the ones who haven't watched my unboxing yet, I do the same thing in there and I explain why, but I'll explain to you now. Um, the last couple videos I watched on, you know, comic related or whatnot, um, two, two YouTubers in, in, that come to mind, uh, while they were doing their video, they, they didn't mean to show them off, they just had them with them. They showed off two, both of them had really cool mugs I find. One of them being uh, Travis, whose channel is, um, I believe it's Oddfellows Thoughts. And if you're watching this, I apologize if, it, if I got your channel name wrong. Sorry. But he has this really cool coffee mug. Why I think it's so cool? It's a friggin' octopus. And it looks really neat. So, anyway, that's one. And then the other one is... Um, Oh, what the heck's his name? Captain... Captain... Damn it. I'm not getting it. It's Captain something. And if he sees this video, I apologize for botching your channel name. I really do. But um, he did a, a video just just after Christmas showing what, what he got and everything. And one thing I found that was really cool is he got this really neat Scooby-Doo mug. And uh, I thought that was really cool. So I was like... Well, they're showing off their drinking apparel. I'm going to show off mine. So anyway, not to get too sidetracked. Um, for those of you who watch my reviews and whatnot, you guys know I like to start with a cover first. So let's check it out. Right off the bat, I like this cover. I like the whole little girl getting her, you know, getting the autograph from like her idol and everything it's cute and every now and then I can do cute you know as much as I love the whole you know action battle scene covers the bright colors that like punch you in the face pretty much but every now and then I can do cute this is cute and I like it uh, another thing I really like about it is how durable the cover is or pretty much how durable the book is um, it's pretty much done up in like a like a trade paperback style and I know there's a specific name for it I don't remember what it is so I'm just saying it's it's a trade paperback kind of comic 
So, uh, right off the cover and everything, perfect, 100%. I like it. So now for what I like to call the nitty gritty, down to business. And before I get to that, I just want to mention, and I know I may sound like a broken record saying this, I apologize for it, but this is pretty much for all the, the newer viewers who stop by my channel and watch my newer videos. Um, if you guys notice that when I'm doing the review, if I'm looking down quite a bit in the back of the camera, it's because I have my, my notes in front of me. And um, one thing I was never really good at was memorizing a big chunk of text and then just relaying it back to you guys. So that's why I, I keep my notes in front of me so I know where I am and everything. So it helps out. So just bear with me. We'll get through it, and then we'll be on our merry way. Sound cool? All right. So first off, the good. Um, the Doctor and his trusty TARDIS uh, come to Earth. Our Earth. And the Doctor discovers he's famous here. And everyone knows about his adventures and whatnot. Uh, one thing I want to point out is this this issue is insanely fun. Uh, the, the writer, Paul Cornell... Uh, he, he keeps this supersized issue fun, and he actually gets a couple laughs out of me. Uh, two things that made me laugh the most was, um, well, the first one is the main one, is the big one. Um, the Doctor enters a cosplay competition, and he comes in second place. <laughs> and I thought that was funny. Uh, the second thing that got me laughing quite a bit, well, not quite a bit, but it got me laughing was there's one Cyberman on on the on Earth, and every time he hears people clapping, like applauding, he gets all confused. So I thought it was a little funny. Um, what you call it? What really makes this a great issue is is the um, is the fact that it doesn't go where you think it's gonna go. Uh, it doesn't get caught up too much in this you know life or death kind of story. It's really just about the Doctor discovering um, the whole fan worship for, for him here on our Earth and uh, getting close to someone who loves the show. Uh, mind you, as I mentioned, there's a Cyberman, so there's a little Cyberman Doctor action here, but the heart of the book isn't about that. Uh, another thing I want to point out is this is a big issue. It's, it's about 40 pages. So it's about double the size of your standard comic. Uh, but the best part of it is it doesn't feel like a long story. It doesn't drag or anything. The flow is really good in this book. And by the time it wraps up, you'll actually wish there was more, more story to keep reading. Okay, moving along. Uh, there's something that kind of was touched on here that I find needs to be... D digged on whatever a little bit more um, the doctors come to earth and he realized all his stories have been made into a, a fictional series um, this includes his current journey to earth which is the episode Matt Smith who was the doctor at the time uh, was filming during the adventure in this book so that had me wondering does that mean Stephen Moffat has some sort of connection to the Doctor's universe. Uh, is Stephen Moffat some sort of god? Uh, I know it's really out there, but this is a story idea that, that Cornell grazed over that I find should really be explored on more. Um, whatchamacallit? Uh, one thing is... How does a normal man get the idea for the true doctor's stories? Now, normally, this this is uh, something I'd put in the bad section of a review, but Cornell does a great job of giving the reader uh, a taste of these ideas, but sticking to his guns pretty much with, with this main story. Uh, this is a place I'd love for Cornell to visit again, though, you know, to really you know, give us more, pretty much. The Bad. Um, this is really a book for Doctor Who fans. Uh, random folks picking this, this up, such as me, uh, won't really pick up on a lot of the jokes. Uh, I'll admit I didn't. 
uh, and you know the little things Cornell throws into this issue. Uh, you also had to be caught up on the whole Doctor Who news as well to catch on to a few little things in here, like who was playing the incarnation of the Doctor at the time. Um, the girl in this story, I find, doesn't have a name, or her name is never mentioned when when they meet, and I didn't seem to notice it through the book, um, and it kind of bugged me uh, a great deal, especially in the opening greeting where the doctor introduces himself to her. She says nothing back. So that's the only thing that really uh, irked me a bit. Uh, the actual verdict, my verdict. Um, this Doctor Who special is a book truly for Doctor Who fans and no one else. Now, I know that sounds mean and cruel, and it's not supposed to come off that way, but it's true. Uh, fans of the series will love this 2013 special. Uh, it's really a love letter to the fans of the series. In fact, it's one of the more fun issues of the Doctor Who uh, books since IDW relaunched it. So, if you have some extra cash, and this is what I was talking about at the beginning, when I say extra cash, this book is $7.99, so, you know, about 8 9 bucks. Uh, sure, you know, pick it up. Or if you're just a Doctor Who fan and, uh, you know, you really should pick this book up. It's, it's really a ton of fun. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about the book. Uh, again, you know, like I mentioned, it was a great read and everything. So, uh, do I, do I recommend this book? If you can find it still, it may be a little tough to find, but, uh, yeah, if you can find it, sure, go ahead and pick it up. Uh, again, if you have the extra cash and whatnot, so. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. So, um, Let's see. Um, new new uh, new series starting on Tuesday. Um, probably within that time, I'll post something for for Thursday over on the Punisher eighty eight Facebook page, and then you know we'll get back to you know as you it'll be as usual. You know, uh, I do have one thing planned. Uh, I am doing a a Valentine special. Uh, uh, as much as I'm not really a big fan of the whole Valentine's Day holiday, whatever, I figured for the va the Valentine's Day fans out there, the lovers and whatnot, you know, I'll do something special for you guys, and I'll do a little special video. Uh, I I already picked out a romance comic to review, so so be prepared for that. And um, yeah, that's it, guys. So. Remember, boys and girls, in the famous words of Mr. Art Spiegelman, comic books are the gateway drug to literacy. Mm, I love it, I love it, I love it. Anyway, I don't want to ramble too much more, so uh, if you guys like this video, uh, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, whichever, comment, I always like to hear from my viewers, and uh, if you like this video or anything else you saw on my channel, hey, you know, make sure to click that subscribe button before you leave. And uh, I'll see you guys on Tuesday. So till then, this is Punisher88, signing off. See ya.